Let's do then one of the proofs that's given to you as an exercise here on the Power of Logic website. Now here's what we're normally going to see. Uh, the premises, there's three of them here, and the conclusion. Notice it's right here close this time, so it could have easily been mistaken for being part of the premise. But there's the conclusion. Here's the three premises. Now your task is to try to prove that this argument is valid, which is just to show that if these three premises are true, the conclusion would also be guaranteed to be true and uh, since it's not immediately obvious, what we have to do is uh, include the steps that demonstrate that it does follow from the premises. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Line 4. And again, the goal is, it's always good to remember what you're trying to do so that you keep that, uh, if you keep that in mind, then you can work your way towards that. Uh, however, sometimes it's not clear exactly how to work your way that direction, so you may just want to start by um, saying things that you know to follow from the premises until you start to see a way to the to the conclusion. In large, in large part, this whole task is uh, an exercise in problem solving, so uh, don't get discouraged if you don't immediately see how to get there. Okay, so if I'm trying to get not D, how can I get that? Well, if I have D here and I want to get it negated, I know that by rule of modus tollens, I could get that. So what do I need to get? I need to get not B. Is there a way for me to get not B? Well, it looks like here I have it as a consequent. So if I could get H, then I could say not B. And handily enough, notice down here that we have H. So now that we've sort of figured it out in our head, let's put it down on paper so we can be completely sure of ourselves. Alright, so I'm going to say in line 4 that uh, not B is true. And I know that that's true because I've been given line 1 and line 3 and the rule of mode exponents. Okay. Line 5. If not B is true, then I can say not D. And what justifies me saying that? Well, lines 4 and 2 and the rule modus tollens. Let's check it. Congratulations. All right, that was a simple one, of course. Some of these are going to be much longer than this, uh, but it's the same idea throughout. So again, make sure that you know the rules and the textbook also gives you some strategies for how to get started. Uh, if, you, if you're not seeing it all, just some things that you can try or some uh, methods that you can use to help you more quickly uh, figure out a way to the conclusion. Sometimes, too, you just don't see it for a while. You may need to step away and come back. Of course, and the more that you do it, the easier that it'll come. So good luck on doing the proofs, and we'll see you online.